about chickens and how to introduce new chickens into your already established flock. As you already know by now, the chicks from Hatch 1 have left today to their new forever home. Although, not all of them, because out of that hatch we kept two of the hens ourselves. We had absolutely no interest in selling any of our chicks at the start of the season, but we have been blessed with quite an unexpected increase in the amount of chicken eggs that we were able to hatch. Compared with the trials and tribulations of last year, we are now at a hatching rate of around 95% and above with the mixed breed chickens, with both of the incubators that we use. So this kind of has opened up a new door for us in that we now can start to select exactly what we want as far as type goes for our mixed breed chickens. So that's exactly what we did with our first hatch. We selected the two hens that come the closest to the type we desire and that is strong, sturdy, well-developed chickens with a nice attitude. Of course, Egg production and birdiness is also on our list, but these chicks are just too young at this moment to see any signs of that. So those are the things that we have to select on in a second selection round when they are much older. But in the meantime, they look the part, so box one is checked off so far. These chicks are 10 weeks and a half, so they are in fact a little young to be introduced into our already existing flock. Best is if you can wait until the chicks are at least 12 weeks old, but we decided to give it a try, since these are not small chicks. At 10 weeks they are bigger than most of our fully grown mixed breed laying hens, as you will see in a minute. Also, since the rest of the hatch is leaving today to their new forever home, it was either leaving these two chicks alone by themselves for another week and a half or so, or slowly introducing them into our existing flock. We opted for the latter, and we will show you how we do it, and all of the drama that goes with it in real time. A warning though, if you are unaware of this side of chicken behavior, it can be a little shocking. So let this be my disclosure here, if you are sensitive to this, please stop watching the video, no hard feelings. However, this is reality. This is how it works. There is no such thing as democracy in nature, as you soon are about to find out. When we introduce new chicks into our existing flock, we are present at all time. But, as you will see, we do not intervene. We are just there, just in case things go really haywire. And let that be one of my other tips. Be prepared for things to go haywire. Wear the right clothes, wear gloves, so your body is protected if the event would occur when you would have to come in between and separate angry adrenaline pump chickens and roosters. I surely hope it doesn't come to that, but just in case, it's best to be prepared for such an event. Also, never panic, stay present, attentive and calm, but I guess that's a given when dealing with animals. Now, what I am doing here is setting up an old dog crate, so the two young ladies will be able to meet the flock for the first time in a safe space. We do this about three hours before sleep time and leave them in uh, for about roughly an hour. I give them some water, but not any food. You'll see why in just a minute. So, after about roughly an hour, it's about two hours before sleep time now, we open up the cage while we give some extra food to the flock. This serves as somewhat of a distraction, but chickens are not easily fooled, as you will notice. I'm not gonna talk all the way through it, the images will speak for themselves. And if you are about to introduce new chickens into your already existing flock, you might want to watch this till the end, so you kinda know what to expect and be prepared. One more note, once again. Chickens do not live in a democracy, neither do humans, but that's another topic. So hierarchy has to be established. This can take anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. So after this first encounter is over, our established flock will go to bed, leaving the two new hens a little lost and alone. 
At that point, we will put them safely into separate sleeping quarters. And tomorrow morning, as soon as breakfast is served, they will be reunited with the flock. Then the saga of establishing a new pecking order will continue, right up until said order is established. And like I said, this can go on for quite some days, so be prepared for that. I personally will come out and check every 30 minutes, every day, from morning till night. And the chicks will be put asleep into separate sleeping quarters until they are fully immersed into the existing flock. And they go to the same sleeping quarters with the already existing flock. I know it sounds like a lot of work, and it is. But this is how we have had good results in the past, and this is how we do it. So that's what we wanted to share with you all. So, without further ado, let's watch.
Thank <laughs> you. 